It's the next morning. It's December 2, I think. About to go have breakfast. It's around 8 o'clock, so it's just the right time. My boyfriend's mom and his brother's already gone. So we're the last ones to go. We better get moving. I haven't been up too much because I decided that I didn't want to do scuba diving lessons anymore. I've just been playing. Da -da -da. It's not on. I've been playing this Pokemon Mystery Dungeon if you're not familiar with it. I just recently fought against Kyogre. That dungeon took so long because it was like 40 levels. Instead of scuba diving, I took a couple of videos of them scuba diving. And I probably will continue to do so when they go back into the water. We all just had lunch. And I'm kind of hungry again, so I might <laughs> order some food again. I was gonna swim, but maybe I'll just swim again tomorrow. Uh, people are gonna use the pool. Yeah, they're gonna be busy. That's why these two did their scuba diving lessons in the pool earlier this morning. I'll be chilling out some more, playing some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. That's it for me. <laughs> hard to keep my eyes wide open because it's bright. Oh yeah, it's bright. But at least you're re well lit. And <laughs> lit. It's lit, fam.
So, nothing much has really happened on my side. I've just been playing more mystery dungeon. <laughs> Transferred over there to one of those loungy chairs. Oh. After a certain point, my back needed it. <laughs> I needed to rest my back on something. But for the guys who've been scuba diving, they, <laughs> they went back out to the sea. And you guys were doing some more skills tests? Yep, we were being tested on a bunch of like just emergency things. What if our air supply comes off of our face? Like, what? How do we get it? If water fills up our mask, what do we do? We had to swim from one boy or buoy to another buoy or boy and then back to the shore. <laughs> oh, and then we had to do like the CESA, C-E-S-A. I forgot what that stands for, but it's basically like a controlled ascent from your last like gulp of air. So you slowly exhale, saying ah uh, or ooh, until you reach from 5 meters depth to the surface. Because if you don't, your lungs will overexpand from the air like expanding in your lungs. I just kept dying. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I was, I think, in Darkness Relic or something. Ah. And that was. Oh, because you picked the wrong Pokemon. I picked the wrong Pokemon because all the opponent Pokemon were like ghost types. And then my Pokemon, they weren't normal types, but they had normal type moves. So they had like no effect, right? I didn't actually die. I just managed to escape the dungeon. But you know. Do you have to do anything with your book or anything? Oh, yeah. Later we're gonna work on the manual. Okay. Work on more exercises. How far are you? How far down are you with it? There's five sections. I've only started section two, so yep. <laughs> Tomorrow is gonna be our last day here. Oh. Oh. Insert soundtrack here. Oh. <laughs> Heading back to our home. No more vacation time. No, Who needs effects when you have hand? Yeah. I mean, it looks cool. See you guys in the next one. Johnny. See ya. Oi! Oi, no minion! Hey, don't drink that! Had a very unsatisfying coffee. What are you guys up to for this morning? We're gonna be having like a actual mini dive. So we'll be planning the dive and then navigating using a compass. You're big boy divers now. What? And what time did we sleep last night? Uh, like <laughs> one or two. Like close to 1 a.m. Because there was a lot of stuff for you guys to do. I almost yeah. fell asleep by the pool here. Yeah, I thought you were asleep. You were there. I actually did. She was there. Asleep. I was in the middle of watching some YouTube videos or something and I fell asleep. I still don't know if I'm gonna be able to swim today. At this point, I kind of wanna go home and see the cats. Oh. I think I dreamt about them. I miss how they climb up onto the pillow to wake us up. Well, to wake me up. With their litter smelling palms. Yeah. 
or just walking all over me, <laughs> mostly. Do you it? After the fact. I find it kind of crazy that we live in a time when there's contraptions like this that allow people to see what's happening in the world. I wonder what the things are. Obviously those are lights. Those are all lights. So all lights. The yeah. three, mm. right? The arms though. <coughs> it's to hold the lights. And then they're all like red for easy visibility. Dope. I wonder how much those will cost. So, it's Ruth's reign and the backbone of her channel. Yay! <laughs> you just completed another dive, right? Yeah, it's our final dive. Before we get uh, certified, that is, as an open water diver. Is there anything else that you guys still need to do? Literally, our details just need to be entered to the thing and then we can get our IDs and stuff. So for this last dive, you guys had to navigate around the water yourselves, right? Yeah. Well. How was that? Only for a short while. Oh. Well, at first I was a bit confused and then suddenly made sense in my mind. Is it overall like easy? Do you feel like because you've done it so many times already, it's like done whatever? Done what so many? Diving? Diving. Not, I'm well, not gonna say it so many times, but you've it's been... It's only like fourth. This is our fourth time yeah. so far. It's not that it's easy. There are just some things that you need to that you get down over time. It's kind of like with any skill, like photography or videography, even. Mm -hmm. Like you don't nail it first try. You get used to the controls. You get used to how you maneuver your body. In this case, in scuba diving, and then over time you realize, oh, if I do this, I move this way. If I do this, I move the other way. Something like that. So in your latest dive, yeah, you almost ran out of air. Oh, well, right. <laughs> it was like kind of estimated because oh. you limit your dive time according to the person who uses his air the fastest. So I guess in this case it's me. I breathe kind of deeply, so <laughs> and then a factor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can hear it sometimes in the video. <laughs> oh no! Especially well, calling yourself out. <laughs> Most of it is edited out, but uh, <laughs> the editor who is behind the camera right now. It's me, Ruth Rain. <laughs> so, I'm the yeah. interviewer now. <laughs> I'm the captain. <laughs> I'm the captain now. Yeah. Oh, Thank you.
<laughs> wow, look at this <laughs> drink video? caught on camera. <laughs> nice. it's, it's pretty cute. It's kind of cute I, actually. Uh, my mango shake. The cherry is really cherry. good as well. Mm -hmm. The shakes guess, here are really good, you yeah. guys. Yeah, actually, Whatever you decide to come along. This is probably one of the best shakes that we've had in this country, that is. Perfect drink by the beach. Yeah, actually. Are you guys done with the book? Yeah, actually. It would take us like forever. <laughs> We were just to read page by page. So to speed it up, we just watched some videos. Also by Paddy, Professional Association of Scuba Instructors? Something like that. We'll put it somewhere. I'm jealous. I want my shake now. <laughs> <laughs> we watched a bunch of videos which just go over the key points. At the end of each section, there are five sections in the workbook. There's like a knowledge review. So on the book, it's based, it's purely theoretical. During the dives and the pool, it's like practical. So we had to do five knowledge reviews and then four quizzes. We had to do like a dive planning thing using the RDP, Recreational Dive Planner. We used three things, RDP, like I said, Recreational Dive Planner, ERDP, which is kind of looks like a calculator. I got my drink. I oh, got oh, a banana oh. shake, but I really Spilling. don't like banana. Yeah. Makes me want to puke. Planning your dive, there's a lot of computation involved. It's pretty simple actually. Would you be interested in taking underwater photos? Yeah, of course. I've already taken underwater photos actually. My stepdad, he bought underwater Canon camera. You can use it for underwater photos in the pool or even in the sea. But you have to rinse it after. So took some photos a long time ago. They are not really very good. I can't say that I'd like you guys to see them. But <laughs> yeah, they were photo underwater photos nonetheless. It's not bird. Huh? Yeah, it's a bird. Nice bird. Oh, it's just a sparrow, is it? Or is no, it? No, it's not a sparrow. No, it's bigger than a sparrow. It's bigger. Yeah. What is it? Invisible. Yes. Oh, it left. Oh, it went back to the same spot. Okay, make your wish. Yay! Yay! Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's open up this pancake. This is pancake. Oh. Mula lang, 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 mula and that's how important to us, you are to us. And the pancit? And the pancit. For longer life. Yes, and then wow. the one who did it wow. is dead now. That's the last cake he ever did. <laughs> <laughs> Super special, yeah. Hindi na ulit makukulit. Limited supply. Limited edition. Saan mo, buksan mo, para makita mo buti. Yan. There you go.
Hey guys, so we are about to end our vacation here at the La Luz Beach Resort. We both had a poolside nap <laughs> for I don't know how long it was, but I feel like I've got a good tan already, maybe? <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I feel tan. I probably should have like put on sunblock or something. Because halfway through, I was like, I feel like I'm being cooked right now. <laughs> but, but I was also like too tired to do anything. And I didn't have any sunblock anyway, so I just like gave in to fate at that moment. At lunch today, we actually had a surprise birthday yeah. cake thing. So I think that it was planned by my boyfriend's mom because she's been hinting like, oh, I'm gonna get a cake. Actually, it was funny because we were sitting over there at that side mm. and I looked over to where the food is usually placed on the buffet table. And I'm like, oh, there's like a nice looking box over there. Do you think maybe it's a cake? He's like, why is it there? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> And then I was like, oh, maybe it's a birthday. And then it's like, oh yeah, it's me. <laughs> a chocolate cake. And as is tradition for every Filipino birthday celebration, we eat pancit, these noodles, for long life. We also had ube ice cream, sorbetes. Looks like this. Looks like this. It's in my, uh, it's in my fingers. Do we take a picture of it? No. It was really nice. Very refreshing, especially on this, you know, hot day. We've packed up already. Anytime now, we're gonna be going back for another long drive back home. See ya! See ya! See ya.